All right, everybody, we are live again. Dynasty Mirror Search for Uhuru. And I have the brother, uh, Q, Mr. Research on with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on with us today. And, um, you know, we, we are going to be discussing, um, and this is going to be on Q's Patreon as well. Uh, the brother is in YouTube jail right now, which is some BS. Um, so, you know, us as black men here on YouTube, you know, we definitely have to look out for each other uh, in a black manosphere, the Negro manosphere, and ensure that, you know, brothers who, uh, you know, aren't being treated fairly, that they always have a platform to come on uh, somewhere else to, to discuss issues that need to be discussed. Because what Amen. Brother Q, uh, you know, me and Q have talked for hours at a time. And the brother brings a lot of value and we definitely cannot censor his voice here on YouTube because brothers have to hear what he has to say. Um, so today we're going to be discussing uh, how black people are missing out uh, on opportunities by not investing in Africa. And that starts with just having a conversation, whether that person's from Senegal, Gambia, Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, just having a conversation with an African that you might know or work with or who lives in your community. So, uh, Q, Mr. Research, uh, go ahead, brother. A Can me. you see a brand new day? Can you? Okay. So, <laughs> so here's the thing that I want to ask. Uh, this is the thing where I want to ask a bunch of questions, too. Go ahead. But so I'm from the Bay. You 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 out there from Sac? Sacramento, Sac Town. Yes, sir. And so uh, we had these brothers who play uh, soccer, football, uh, in our community, yeah. and they kind of took over the park. And they just trying to they 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 play against uh, other African brothers. They play against Mexicans. And I said to myself, you know what? I want to kind of reach out to one of these brothers and start a local culture against culture type of league where on a consistent level, people play each other. That brings camaraderie amongst each other, like Nigerians against uh, 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 Moroccans and you, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and in addition, those same brothers, because they kept going to that, uh, park end up creating a Uhuru festival mm -hmm. every year mm. uh, in that park, exposing the culture and you know bringing unity and what have you. So uh, that's that's something I want to do. And and uh, a part before I ask ask the question, the problem with a lot of African Americans, we have the misconceived conception that I think Africans have of us. I can't really go talk to that dude, man. He don't, he don't, he don't, he don't connect with me like that. I'm already defeating myself before I even speak to the dude. So, like you said, I should just at least speak to him. But my thing is, I kind of don't want to step on other people's toes culturally, because I know there's a lot of cultural nuances when you talk business with some people. How do I begin? Uh, personally, I was just open up the conversation and, and ask. I mean, this is the thing, okay, just traveling to Africa. Now, a lot of Africans might say, you know, black American don't come with that Western mindset, whatever the hell that means. But then when you go over the Lebanese, Chinese, Indian, white people, they obviously did not get that message or that message. <laughs> right. So I wouldn't worry about, I guess, tiptoeing in, in you know because you don't want to offend um you know the way we might do business here in america might be different from how they do it in africa because again when i go over there the chinese um uh, uh you know white man the lebanese they obviously didn't get that memo so i would approach it like any other uh business transaction that you will uh or partnership like you have here in the west but do you think they, they didn't get that message because they're coming with financial dominance and our African brothers respect financial dominance? Or is it uh, because when you're in Japan, you have to have a conversation about family, other little stuff before you start talking business. 
That's the polite way to do it. You can well, just start talking well, about well, it. Well, I think, I think, well, okay, so, you know, I, I, I do sales. So, obviously, okay, since we're, 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 we're going that route, uh, there is a sales process. So, part number one of the sales process, uh, Q, is building rapport. So that should be done naturally. Uh, you know, I think whoever you're doing business with, you have to build rapport. Uh, so that should come naturally. So I don't think that's a- Well, define naturally because, you know, if, if I'm talking to a guy from India or Pakistan right. and his wife has the business, right? I have to talk to him. I'm, I can't talk to his wife. I have to talk to his wife through him. Well, uh, well, you know, just again, coming from my sales background, uh, usually if it's a couple who is, if, you know, either the man owes the business or the woman, just in my experience, a lot of times the man, even though he might own the business, if he's married, uh, usually they he has to, I would say, consult with his wife to make a business decision. So okay. it wouldn't, in, in my experience, it wouldn't be, it goes both ways. So even though the woman owns the business, uh, even if the man owns the business, just from my experience, a lot of times um, that person has to consult with their significant other. Sometimes, not all the times, but just in my experience, a lot of times they have to consult depending on uh, how big the expense is. You know, if, you, if you're just talking nickel and diamond, yeah, they probably don't have to consult with their significant other. But depending on how large the expense is, they're going to have to consult with their significant other before they make a decision. Okay, no problem. The re and, and and please don't feel I know you're not personally offended, but no, please, not. I, I hope your audience doesn't feel offended by me asking these questions. They may seem childlike to some of your audience, but I've been in situations where everything gets shot to shit because I didn't know the difference between one flag and another and you, you know, I I one flag and another. What do you mean by one flag and another? Well, well, we're not not dealing with Africans, just people in, in general. Mm -hmm. You know, some people are very cultural and motherland. Right. And, and when I deal with people internationally, I like to know these things because I don't like stepping on people's toes. And then we can't do business because I misinterpreted something. You, you know, like like the first time I was around a French person and got kissed on the cheek twice. OK, I did. I didn't have no no issue about it, but. The husband, on the fourth time that it happened, the husband must have said something because she never did it again. <laughs> you know, but it's the natural thing to do amongst French people. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So, so I learned that lesson back then that I need to always ask before interacting. So my second question is, you know, you always feel like your idea is going to get taken by somebody. Right. And and sometimes uh, when you're dealing with somebody international, you get the misconception because you've heard it in business circles that a person will take that idea and go run it. As opposed to, you know, I came to you with a business idea uh, and now you've sideswiped me. And, and it happens in business across all things. But that's another reason why sometimes we're concerned about dealing with people internationally as a whole. How do our African brothers have empathy for that when they're looking at us to do business with us? I mean, it, it depends. I mean, that's a case by case basis. I mean, I need an example of in of a so-called idea. Like what what kind of idea is it? Uh, well, is, let's just, is, is it really that I would say? Uh, this is the correct word to use. Proprietary? Prior, yeah, proprietary, yeah, or revolutionary, or pro proprietary. Uh, if it was proprietary, you, you have protections yeah. in place. Right. Uh, it just but, depends on the idea. Okay, okay. So so just treat it as as you would with anybody, uh, you know, that the, if the idea is in proprietary. Uh, okay, I, I can absorb that. Um, the other thing is... Uh, I mean, well, just like just like anything, I mean... Of course, you have to have the paper. I mean, if depending on how proprietary it right. is, I mean, obviously you get non-disclosure signed, um, you know, and of course you don't give that person anything until the proper 
uh, paperwork, and of course, money is put up. Then, can you dig into the detail of that for my fans? I know it, but can you dig into the detail of that for my fans? As far as the proper paperwork, or just the yeah, general. I mean, yeah, if you have an idea or a connect, I guess, uh, and you approach somebody, um, and hey, I have this idea, or if that person approaches you, like, hey, let's um, connect or get together on this, I have this idea. Uh, before you know, you go into detail about it or give up any proprietary information. I just think the proper paperwork needs to be signed. Uh, non disclosure agreement pretty much what we discuss does not get shared um, outside of our uh, conversation. Um, also, what, what gets discussed, uh, you know, you can't go take it and run with it, as they say. Um, until you know we come to an agreement um or and you put the money up or we go into a official uh, partnership yeah because you know i try to share with my patreon people i say hey look there's no such thing as understanding in business <laughs> i mean even but, even two cousins two brothers don't have an understanding the only thing we understand is what's written right so it ain't no hate it's just <laughs> you do the same to me you do the same thing in a marriage if they, well, uh, not, and not to cut you off, Q, they can watch the, the Facebook movie. A prime example of paperwork oh, yeah. not being placed. And Tom Zuckerberg pretty much, Mark Zuckerberg, I'm sorry, took it and ran with it and screwed everybody over. Right, right. I mean, that's and, number and, one. Also, too, another great, if, if, if you have not seen the movie, uh, The Founder, uh, that uh, Ray Kroc, the. Uh, he, in fact, oh yeah, yeah, McDonald's. Yes, if you have not seen that movie, I told people that was probably the best movie that came out in 2017. Yeah, he he really did pimp the system, but you know, it was a strange thing. Their arrogance is what caused them to not come out. You know what I'm saying? Right, the McDonald's brothers. Yeah, yeah, you know, they 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 were a little too arrogant. Uh, but but that leans to this other side thing. It's not a question, but just because you mentioned Facebook, I personally believe he stole he stole the coding from the uh, Black Planet creator. Somebody else. In fact, did you tell me that? You know what? Another. I remember you told me that, and the brother Dave Anderson, who I had uh, yeah. on, on the show before, he confirmed that. He said the same that, thing too. That code was out. That code has been out since '93 when he first had it on his on the servers at his job. And the problem with black people, which goes to your point, which is why I wanted you to elaborate, you better have that paperwork together, man. Right, patent, paperwork, <laughs> don't give up everything until you, you get into a, a partnership. Now, now, now look at this. Facebook went live, I mean, uh, Black Planet went live three and a half years before Facebook. Right. The code, the code, the code platform was already out. It was out before MySpace. Hmm. There was no, there was no platform like Black Planet when Black Planet was released. The problem was, as I say all the time, where were the black lawyers to protect this guy? You should have pro bono and surrounded this guy like Indians invading a, a, a village full of white women. <laughs> you, you, should have, you should have surrounded the wagons around this dude. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, that's 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 why we say that in, in, in tech world because that 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 the 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 style in which he did the, the coding was not out. Mm -hmm. But here's another question. Uh so I want to travel to Africa. Uh, I don't necessarily want to go to the cheapest places. Uh, where are the places, the, the top three places I'm going to be most well received? I mean, you, you'll you be well received everywhere. You Everywhere I've been, I've been well received. Okay. Uh, I mean, you got to, I think you got to package that more. Like when you say well received, what do you, what do you? Well, um, it's intimidating going to another land on itself, but uh, 
for my fans, as uh, you know, uh, I try to tell people, uh, don't dig into what the TV has told you. And unfortunately, the TV has told us some unnecessary stuff about Africa. And I'm Man, glad more we got to we got to this is where I'm at now with the TV in Africa. We got to stop. We can't use the TV excuse anymore. It's 2018. It's not 88. True. 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 And I'm glad more brothers like you are going out there constantly and you're demystifying that connection. Mm -hmm. You know, um, cuz I'm gonna tell you what 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 really did it for me, seeing how well they received that Black Panther movie and how proud they were and you know, that that was amazing for me personally. Um but everywhere you go is pretty good. Okay, so how about the air the airports? Yeah. Uh, what what airports am I hitting? Uh, uh, it depends on which country you're going to. Uh, I'm trying not to do Kenya. Uh, some okay. something up, some something up toward Ghana. Okay. Okay. Uh, what what what, what about Ghana? Uh, Just some some that. airport close to her there. I mean, what type of airport? Well, uh, in Accra, I mean, the airport in Accra is nice. Okay. I mean, pretty okay. much what's going on all over Africa. They're updating their airports. Okay. So, yeah, the, I, heard, I heard I had to hop it. I heard I had to hop an airplane and then hop hop a smaller flight. And it just depends on where you're going. Okay. I mean, for the most part, okay. So if you're leaving, uh, um, if you're going to America, okay. There's some uh, usually to go to Africa. There's some carriers that fly direct uh, from America. So. Out of Atlanta, you can fly Delta direct to Lagos, which I will be in August. Okay. Uh, then uh, out of New York area, uh, Newark, JFK, uh, you can fly like Ethiopian Airlines out of Newark directly to Ivory Coast, Abidjan, and uh, to Lome, Togo. Uh, also out of Newark, you can fly, I think, direct to Addis Ababa, all on Ethiopian Airlines. Okay. Uh, out of DC, I want to say you could fly direct uh, from uh, DC to Addis Ababa via Ethiopian Airlines as well. As well, also out of DC, you could fly direct uh, from DC to uh, Dakar, Senegal via South African Airways or Airlines. Yeah, South African. Uh, out of JFK, you could fly direct Delta to um uh to ghana to Accra, and then i think in october or november you can fly direct from uh new york to nairobi oh wow that's 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 a jump okay at some point in time i i because i love the look of sudanese women uh-huh i love very dark women but, but, but let me back up for a second but but for the most part you're either gonna have uh, a layover if you want to go to Africa. If you don't go the routes I told you, you're either gonna have a layover in Europe or in um, like Turkey or Dubai. Uh, but primarily, you're gonna have a layover in, in Europe, uh, depending on the airline. But the cheapest, uh, the cheapest, uh, usually the cheapest carriers are like the Middle Eastern, you know, Turkish airlines. Those carriers. Uh, so you have a layover, you know, in the Middle East, like you know. Dubai or if you fly Emirates or Qatar or uh, Turkish Airlines in Istanbul. Okay, that's what's up. That's what. And this is why I try to tell my fans to stay up on the airline game because, you know, complaining is one thing, but jumping on the plane is totally different. Two more questions for you. Uh, oh, go ahead. No problem. Take your time. So uh, I want to get to see some Sudanese women. Okay. I, I love very dark skinned women. Um, but is this, is this area obtainable? I, I know I'm being, uh, I, I don't really know. And I try to look at it online, but is this area obtainable to get to? Yeah. Yeah. You can fly, uh, to Khartoum. Uh, you can fly to Juba, uh, which is South Sudan. You know, there's two Sudans. There's Sudan and South Sudan. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I, I looked, I priced tickets out to Khartoum. Uh, you know, via one of the Middle Eastern airliners, uh, I think like Qatar or Emirates or something like that. So, yeah, absolutely. Easy. Okay. Okay. And you just got to excuse my ignorance on it. No, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Uh, Baby steps. Yeah, yeah, that's all it is. Uh, 
I know uh, I, I need to try to take up some French. Uh-huh. <laughs> me too. I'm, me too. And, and, uh, what other languages do I need to be up on uh, I, that, that are universal outside of French and English? I mean, if you know French and English, you're pretty much fine in like 95% of Africa, 95, 97% of Africa. Okay. Uh, of course, each country, they have their own like native indigenous language. But if you know English or French, you, you'll be fine. And like I said, 90, in fact, 99%, 99.9% of Africa, you'll be fine. How did the... Uh... And if somebody said mention Arabic. But the, 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 the countries who speak Arabic were either colon, colonized by French or English. So you'll, you'll be fine. OK. OK. How, how do the uh, you know, every every time I go into a different country, what's amazing is this this thing with um, green cards. OK. Uh, you know, some women in some other countries push up on you because they are trying to get green cards. Uh, is that a problem with uh, women in Africa? Do they see you as a green card, or they just see you as a as a human first? Uh, who happens to be from America? And, and guys, can we can we get we have 120 people watching, only 43 likes. Can we please get these get these likes up, please? Thank you. Get the likes up, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, I haven't had that issue really. Uh, as far as you kind of tell when you know when you're in certain countries and, out, and a woman's trying to get her green card, but I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had that issue. I'm sure it's there. In fact, I know it's there. It's a fact that it's there, but I haven't, I haven't had that issue. And 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 you know, uh, I was looking at your chat, and uh, Wode Meyer says something about cheap places. Uh, I will say this to the chat room: I don't interact with cheap places a lot. Cause I don't, I don't like to be at places that I cannot complain about how I'm treated. I, I, I need to pay that extra $50, that extra hundred dollars so I can be comfortable and complain <laughs> about my level of comfort. I, I would say this with me when I travel, um, I'm definitely, I either stay with a local person, uh, in the city or in the, in the village. Uh, cause I like to spend my money on like art, in a uh, mask and uh, antiques and stuff like that. So I try not to spend my money on hotels. Right, Remember? right. Uh, I, I'll also answer this other chat question. The brother that 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 invented Black Planet. Once you put something out public, uh, you're kind of up for grabs. So um, it's not as easy to win in court on that. Um, I, I know it sounds like you can, but. Uh, Code is code, man. It, it it belongs truly to no one. So, you know, you really can't do that. Um, another question I had about um, relationships. Uh -huh. um, you know, I kind of want an African wife. And if I can't get an African wife, I kind of want a dark-skinned Latin wife. Okay. Uh, what are the benefits, as you've been told, for a sincere brother? uh who wants to get married um when it comes to the african woman uh I, I would say you know here in america you know especially the the newer generation of women they're trying to uh ma ma masculize them is that is that did i say it right uh feminize no mass masculine you know masculinize them masculinize who the the, the women yeah, through feminism and all this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're trying to uh, it's 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 uh, they're trying to remove all gender really, uh, make yeah. them uh, neutral to both. But yeah, I get your point. Right, right. So with that, the African woman is still very feminine. Oh, okay. Yeah, kind of like uh, I want to say the last generation of really, really feminine women here in America was probably like. Maybe our mothers, but definitely our grandmothers. Okay, what do you what do you classify as femininity in in Africa? <clears throat> I mean, just how can I put it? Um, and, and and I and I don't want to. Uh, and it right, they're trying to emasculate the men. Let me let me help out. For me, I've noticed the 
colors are very feminine. The cooking skills and house preparation are very feminine. But okay. those are things that I classify as feminine. As well. Right. There, there, there you go. Okay. Because those are the main things I'm concerned with. When I come into my house, I want to be amazed. Here we go. Here we go. There, there's obvious uh, gender roles, I guess. Like there's no confusion. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. And I guess that's what they mean by the westernized thing. Right. Uh, uh, how do, uh, you know, uh, when I watch African movies, because I watch a lot of African movies, uh -huh. uh, sometimes I see people trying to be white to a degree, the same way they would anywhere else. Uh, how do women feel? How, how do men feel? How do people feel about their dark, dark, almost blue skin? I love it, but how do they feel about it? Well, you know, it's even here in America, they really don't talk about it. There are some parts of Africa where skin bleaching is an issue. Uh, okay. it's, it's in your face, but it's, it's an issue here in America as well, too. <clears throat> so... You do have some of that, but yeah, I, I, but I, I think I, because of the the uh, the side effects of it, you know, and people starting to realize how uh, we've been a lot of us have been taught to hate ourselves. All of that is changing. Now, I, I do I, I do agree with the uh, American thing because I remember when Charlemagne, the guy on Breakfast Show, bleached his skin. Before did he, he or did he have uh verta, what's it called? Verta Lego, Verta Vertigo? Well, he claims he has it, mm -hmm. but he bleached his skin to even out the tone because he had tones of his face that was darker than the other, but you really couldn't tell. Uh I guess it's a close up thing. I mean, that's all I can say. Right. And I know the dude from Vibes Cartel really bleached his skin, the uh Jamaican rapper. From Bob's cartel, they they he really bleached his skin before he went to jail. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody asked, uh, "How expensive are the flights?" I never consider it because I got the cash. I, I, I usually uh, you can find flights for less. I, I don't buy a flight to Africa unless it's for, unless it's for less than a thousand dollars. I won't spend more than a thousand dollars for a round trip flight. Absolutely, <laughs> and, and and you know what? Uh, somebody said, uh, uh, Miss Hope TV said, uh, uh, "I'm looking for a wife," and she bust out laughing. I'm at a point in my life where um, I'm not just floating around looking to bust. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, I'm going to be in the next chapter of my life. Uh, I'm going to have protective measures so somebody can't kill me in a divorce. You will have to sign one of these prenups. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the most part, um, it's like I am really looking to step into another level, kids, property, things of that nature. So uh, how is that, is the family mindset uh, really big in, uh, or, or is it all about individualism and being single? No, it's, it's family mindset, but it's, I think it's good and bad to it. Cause I think like, for example, sometimes what I notice as far as family mindset is Sometimes you'll still have grown men still living with, you know, their parents, which is something I really don't agree with. I think once you get a certain age as a man, you should have your own shit. You know, so I think that's my only issue with the whole family mindset thing. This that right there, I think uh it's something that part that needs to be changed. I think just once you go to a certain age, certain age, a man should have his family and or his own shit. So yeah, but yeah, family mindset is still definitely strong in Africa. Okay, so when it comes to us, is uh, when it comes to brotherhood in Africa, yeah, is that cultural only or? Is a universal across the entire continent because I understand Nigerians are different from Ghanans, different from Ivory Coast, but is there a sense of brotherhood or is there you're from this flag, I'm from that flag? Uh, there, there, uh, you know, so South Africa has issues. Uh, you know, there you have your xenophobic issues there. 
And then let's be consistent all over Africa. And I know a lot of Nigerians are about to get pissed off with what, 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 I'm, what I'm about to say. Uh, uh, Nigerians aren't really viewed in the most positive matter, I would say, in Africa, uh, as far as when I've traveled. Uh, so, yeah. But for the most part, brotherhood is, you know, everybody gets along for the most part. You know, you have you might have your issues here and there, uh, tribal issues here and there. You know, we did a video that tribalism is the new coonery, uh, especially in 2018. For the most, but for the most part, uh, everyone gets along. Absolutely. And can I make this speech real quick? Because uh, Cohen, Cohen Davis said, what is wrong with this brother? And Miss Hope TV said exactly. So I'm going to call you guys out, not because I'm confrontational, but because people who do that crab mentality ask me about why I'm asking the questions I'm asking. Don't have this preconceived notion that something is wrong with me. I am asking, number one, for my fans because we're doing a, 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 a double taping of this. And also, I'm trying to remove any misunderstanding that I have. So just because you are privy to some information that you might think is basic doesn't mean that I'm necessarily privy to it. So as black people, uh, Miss Hope TV and Cohen, Dav uh, Cohen Davis, or can y'all just under have more understanding that everybody doesn't have the information you have and everybody isn't like you and, and not to be so confrontational in the chat room about people who don't understand that are asking questions because that's what Ku Klux Klan members do. They say, what's wrong with this person? But anyway, uh, what questions did you have of me, man? That was basically my questions. Nah, that I my brother, I, nah, I mean, everything is good, man. I mean, anything I could do to, you know, help you out to, you know, you get everything situated with uh, YouTube, man. Just just let me know, brother. I'm here. Oh, uh, man, I appreciate it, I, man. I, probably, you know, I got you. I, I'm always trying to just help to help help as much as I can, man, because like I said, I'm sticking and moving. And, uh, you know, today is my father's birthday. Happy birthday to your dad. We are celebrating 83 years. <laughs> so that is an achievement. Uh, and uh, he and my mom have been together for 58 years. So, you know, that's that's one of those things, man. But I do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I guess my final question is, man, um, from your perspective, man, this is kind of a difficult question, but I just wanted to ask you something nobody's probably ever asked you. How can black YouTube get better? Um, stop really. See, it's just the issue, Mr. Research is, I mean, when, when you're dealing with just, I hate to say it, hate to stereotype our people. They want drama, man. <laughs> so, you know, you have your platform, you know, you have my platform. But I guarantee you, if we were just gossiping and we had just dealt with drama and, you know, clowning and clowning and acting a fool, you know, we'll have a million subscribers. But it's just unfortunate what we do. You know, a lot of people don't see the value in it. So. Um, so, my, OK, so let me ask you, when you say do better. Un unpackage that, because by doing better, we would. A lot of uh, black YouTube to YouTubers who are clowning would have to stop clowning. Well, you know what? I, and, and they're not going to do that. I always associate would do better with help the children have a better advancement than you had. Right. That's that's how I look at it. That, that's not happening. That's not happening right now, though. Yeah, because in, in order for it's not it's not profitable. Yeah, it's not profitable. Because in order for for uh, black supremacy to come back to its pre pre two hundred twenty five thousand BC ways when when black supremacy did rule, uh, we have to indoctrinate the children with a sense of I got you, and if we're just trying to one up each other. Uh, I, I don't I don't see how you know that's my version of do better. You mm -hmm. you gotta it, it, and 
you got to do something for the kids, man. You got to make sure because everybody in this chat room, for example, they're going to have a child. And but like we me, well, well, some way, somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, and me, I'm a manager. Your child can come to my job and have an option just because I'm in position. You see what I'm saying? Right. But your child comes to me and my son comes to me. Okay, I'm taking care of two people. Mm -hmm. You, you're not creating no road for your child or my child. <laughs> so all you relying on is me. You see what I'm saying? Or you taking the brother over to Africa. You might create a business that way. It, it's just that we're, we're not creating enough lanes. And those of us who are creating lanes are being shouted down by the people who are not trying to create a lane at all. Right. And, and just like you said, on YouTube, what the average person in the chat room doesn't understand, most people are just making money off black pain. Black arguments, black this this black dysfunction, right, right. They're not really, uh, you know, if you if you knew the way some of these people really lived, like I've been around since oh seven. I've been on YouTube since oh seven. I've had five channels, four of them terminated. This is the fourth. This is the fifth one. If you go back to some of the old conversations people who didn't have a pot to piss in and they needed you to badly mm -hmm. just to just to stay afloat and you're you're looking at them now they said well you still don't have a house or you still don't have how did that happen and you got to come down to one thing man they're making money off black dysfunction but they're not advancing nothing right you know um, and, and, and this is the same thing I say. I'll always use this uh, as the uh, Tyreek Nasheed answer. Even if you don't like Tyreek, at least he's created product to help you think proudly about your about your skin tone. Right. While somebody else is just on their 14th speech, their 4,000th speech. That's that's different. If I come spend money with, with you, Dinas. Mm -hmm. OK, you're, you're showing me through action that I can advance my situation. But with somebody over here who's just talking about Dinah's every 30 seconds, talking about Q every 30 seconds, they ain't create nothing for nobody. They're the they're the black crab. They, they're worse than the Ku Klux Klan to me because they 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 using a black face to be anti black. So that's mm -hmm. how I look at it, man. And that's why I've backed up from black YouTube. Because it's just too vim, it, it's too poisonous, man. It's way too poisonous. And uh, the only thing I can do is advise from a distance. And the people, because my Patreon is growing immensely huge. That's good. Congratulations. Right, right. uh, what, what's your brother? Put your uh, what's your Patreon? So I can go ahead and put it in the chat. In fact, do me a favor. Send uh, yeah. What's your what's your Patreon? So I can put it in the chat room. Uh, let's see if I can grab it real quick. Okay. But uh, I didn't, you know. Uh, O'Shea had to convince me to do this because I haven't uh, charged nothing or done for years. Only this year did yeah, I actually, shout out to O'Shea. Yeah, on, on, only this year did I actually suggest that somebody kick in. <laughs> so you know, it's 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 pretty cool for me, and and I like helping people, man. I don't like trying to be right. You know, I'm all about uh, what can I do to to help these guys. Uh, now it won't let me drop the link, but uh, it says uh, uh, if you want to email it to me real quick or sh uh, share. It. In fact, share it to me through uh, Hangouts, and I'll, I'll I'll post it real quick. Go ahead, okay, and that, I'll, that'll I'll, work. Via the email, and I'll go ahead and post it right now. Uh, let me go ahead and log into my email real quick. And I, uh, but everybody, uh, make sure you go and support uh, Mr. Q's. Uh, if, uh, you to, if you want to, <laughs> if you want to, okay, there you go. If you want to, uh, you know, you don't have to. But uh, over at the Patreon, I just have more raw conversation that I can't have on YouTube because I don't want to get a strike. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to send it to you now, Dinah. Okay. Uh, I, I I just I, I don't even want to deal with YouTube. I, I hope Black Spot gets better, uh, so that it can open. Are, are, are you familiar with a uh, Black Junction? 
Yeah, Black Junction is another one I gotta try out. Yeah, I'm just I'm having issues uploading stuff to Black Junction. I'm trying I'm trying my hardest to, but I'm just in fact I'm gonna try again uh, when we we get off of here. I'm just having so many issues with it. Yeah, have, have you contacted the brother directly? He said he'll he'll take uh, uh, direct. I have, uh, but I just don't want to have to send them the videos to upload for me. That kind of defeats the purpose. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it again because I, I know I'm, I, <laughs> I, I, I spent seventy five dollars. Shout out to uh, Graz, I'm sorry, Grazio S I thirty two for the, the super chat. Appreciate it. Thank you, fam. Right, hey, guys. I, I sent you the title of my Patreon because I can't send the link. So okay, I just all right, I'm about to put it in here. You know, so, I, I, I go to the Patreon and search. Uh, yeah, it should pop up. Hey, shoot, send me the link if you can find it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how that works. Okay. So you know, it is what it is. Uh, let me say this other thing. Uh, I think I got kicked out. Oh, let me say this other thing. Uh, somebody said uh, in the chat room. So for me, even asking Dynas to do this, man, is to try to get understanding. I'm not too proud to say there's stuff I don't know. Uh, I'm not too proud to say. Uh, I misunderstood something, you know what I'm saying? So uh, something about our people and people in the chat room can probably understand because you've seen some slick mouth stuff said in the chat room mm -hmm. is that we have this thing where we find pleasure in disrespecting other people like us, mm -hmm. even when there's no financial gain or no power, power move on that. And you know, we on we online have to start understanding that there's no pleasure in insulting somebody like us. Right. We just have to politely walk away and not interact with that person on that level. You know, um, because at the end of the day, people are we were all going to get older. And Dinus, I, I I leave you with this one. We Go all going to get older. We all going to get older. And when we hit 50, 60, 70, that's going to be the test of whether our opinions had any validity. Mm, absolutely. When, when, when you no longer can hide behind your, your, your youth is when you start to realize, wait a minute, 10 years I thought like this and that didn't benefit nothing. Now I'm 70. I can't easily get a job like I used to. Ain't no pension coming in. I'd never created a business. I don't have nobody who really in my corner that loves me and want to keep me safe. I don't have a child that loves me. I'm kind of screwed off in the game. I thought I was going to have SSI, but that got cut off. I thought that would never die. I thought I could get my social security, but Paul Ryan killed that. And that's what we got to start paying attention to, man. We're we're wasting a lot of time insulting each other when, uh, you know, we we really need to, you know, do what I did today. Try to gain some knowledge, you know. Try to say, hey, look, I don't know. I looked on the internet, but I couldn't really find what I needed to know. So, you know, there it is. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, my bro, my 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 dad's party has started. So okay. I'm gonna well, yeah, go go enjoy that, man. Eat, hey, eat some cake for me. I would really love a slice of cake. <laughs> no problem, man. I'm gonna try to videotape some of this party. Okay, yeah, I, I really would, would love a slice of cake. But everybody <laughs> for joining us, make sure you support. Uh, if you want to uh, cue Mr. Researchers' uh, Patreon page, uh, everyone, thank you so much for joining. Uh, enjoying this, Q. May hopefully you found some value in this. You think this will help? I did. I did. I got my questions answered. I, that you know, I, I kind of didn't want to say it to other people without getting something worked out to make sure I wasn't stepping on toes. You know, mm. absolutely. All right, so everybody. Brother. Uh, no problem, man. Anytime. But again, Salute everybody, you. thank you for joining us. You too, brother. Uh, make sure you go to search for Uhuru on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, go to Africa Personified on those same platforms. Make sure you go to dinosamir.com, Africa Personified on Africa. Go to search for and go to amazon.com. Search your name, Dinosamir. Please buy a book. Until next time, family. Peace.